The five ETFs we will explain today are GLDM, GLD, IAU, BIL, KWEB. Please note that this analysis is based on the latest data and is subject to change. Investors should always do their own research before making any investment decisions. What technical signals should you look for when analyzing GLDM? Technical Signals and Analysis GLDM's 14-Day Relative Strength Index, RSI, value, was 76. When the RSI exceeds 75, it is considered to be in the overbought region, the stock price may be overvalued, and a price correction may be required. It means that the stock price has been experiencing a strong uptrend, and it has risen too fast, causing the RSI to reach a high level. The current stochastic oscillator of GLDM is 95%. When the stochastic oscillator rises above the 80 level, it is usually considered overbought, indicating that the stock may be due for a price pullback or pullback. An overbought condition occurs when a stock's price rises too fast and too high in a short period of time and can be a sign that buying pressure has exhausted. Trend Outlook the probability of GLDM share price rising is 90%. When the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the stock has a higher chance of rising. If the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, GLDM has four bullish signals and three bearish signals. GLDM short-term support level is 44.9. If it falls below 44.9 during the session, it will have a chance to test 44. GLDM short-term resistance level is 47.1. If it breaks through 47.1 during the session, it will look up to 48.4. What technical factors drive GLD performance? Technical Signals and Analysis GLD's 14-Day Relative Strength Index, RSI, value, was 76. When the RSI exceeds 75, it is considered to be in the overbought region, the stock price may be overvalued, and a price correction may be required. It means that the stock price has been experiencing a strong uptrend, and it has risen too fast, causing the RSI to reach a high level. The current stochastic oscillator of GLD is 95%. When the stochastic oscillator rises above the 80 level, it is usually considered overbought, indicating that the stock may be due for a price pullback or pullback. An overbought condition occurs when a stock's price rises too fast and too high in a short period of time and can be a sign that buying pressure has exhausted. Trend Outlook the probability of GLD share price rising is 90%. When the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the stock has a higher chance of rising. If the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, GLD has four bullish signals and three bearish signals. GLD short-term support level is 210. If it falls below 210 during the session, it will have a chance to test 205. GLD short-term resistance level is 220. If it breaks through 220 during the session, it will look up to 226. How have technical indicators fared for IAU in recent months? Technical Signals and Analysis IAU's 14-Day Relative Strength Index, RSI, value, was 76. When the RSI exceeds 75, it is considered to be in the overbought region, the stock price may be overvalued, and a price correction may be required. It means that the stock price has been experiencing a strong uptrend, and it has risen too fast, causing the RSI to reach a high level. The current stochastic oscillator of IAU is 95%. When the stochastic oscillator rises above the 80 level, it is usually considered overbought, 
indicating that the stock may be due for a price pullback or pullback. An overbought condition occurs when a stock's price rises too fast and too high in a short period of time and can be a sign that buying pressure has exhausted. Trend Outlook The probability of IAU share price rising is 90%. When the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the stock has a higher chance of rising. If the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, IAU has four bullish signals and three bearish signals. IAU's short-term support level is 42.8. If it falls below 42.8 during the session, it will have a chance to test 41.9. IAU's short-term resistance level is 44.9. If it breaks through 44.9 during the session, it will look up to 46.1. Is BIL trading within its normal technical range? Technical Signals and Analysis BIL's 14-Day Relative Strength Index, RSI, Value was 46 when the RSI is above 25 and below 50, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bearish. This means that the securities price has been falling but has not yet reached oversold levels, typically considered an RSI reading of 25 or lower. The current stochastic oscillator of BIL is 50%. When the stochastic oscillator stays between 50 and 80, it may indicate that the stock is experiencing a mild downtrend with some selling pressure. In this case, an oversold signal could indicate that a stock is reaching a potential buying opportunity. Trend Outlook The probability of BIL share price rising is 73%. When the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the stock has a higher chance of rising. If the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, BIL has two bullish signals and six bearish signals. BIL short-term support level is 91.5. If it falls below 91.5 during the session, it will have a chance to test 91.3. BIL short-term resistance level is 91.6. If it breaks through 91.6 during the session, it will look up to 91.8. How has KWEB performed recently according to technical analysis? Technical signals and analysis. KWEB's 14-day relative strength index, RSI, value was 59. When the RSI is between 50 and 70, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bullish. This means that the securities price has been rising but has not yet reached overbought levels, which are usually considered an RSI reading of 75 or higher. The current stochastic oscillator of KWEB is 48%. It indicates that the stock is experiencing a strong downtrend and strong selling pressure. In this case, an oversold signal may indicate that a stock is hitting a temporary bottom, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the trend will reverse immediately. Trend Outlook The probability of KWEB share price rising is 67%. When the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the stock has a higher chance of rising. If the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, KWEB has four bullish signals and three bearish signals. KWEB short-term support level is 26.3. If it falls below 26.3 during the session, it will have a chance to test 25.5. KWEB short-term resistance level is 27.6. If it breaks through 27.6 during the session, it will look up to 